Hello, this is Trevor. Welcome to another lab. This time we're doing reflected XSS into a JavaScript string with angle brackets HTML encoded in the search query tracking functionality. Angle brackets are encoded. The reflection occurs inside a JavaScript string. Um, to solve the lab, perform a cross-site scripting attack that breaks out of the JavaScript string and calls the alert function. So we just need to call the alert. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Let's check out what we have in store. It said it was in the search tracking function. So let's do blah. And then I'm going to inspect. So we, so it's not this one and it's not input. Uh, there's got to be some kind of tracking right here. No, because it said it was in JavaScript right here. So can we insert a single quote to break out of this? Let's try that. Um, blah, single quote, search. That's a good sign right there. We get an error. Let's go back to try to find it. Yep, looks like we did um, break out of that single quote. All right, well, this is going to be another easy one then, because, not because, because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single quote to break out of this string and then do a semicolon to end this line, put my, and then put my, uh, my alert here, and then I need to add something to make sure that this doesn't error so it continues to execute and that should be it and all we need to do is is alert so single quote semicolon space alert and then semicolon and then like var a equals single quote and that this last single quote will close making the statement uh not you know still valid and that should work. And it's in the search. So let's get to writing our script. And I need to know JavaScript string angle brackets HTML encoded. So Vim JavaScript string angle brackets encoded dot pi. Let's grab our template as always saves us a lot of time and we need to do it in the search which I believe we have a search we do all we need to do is uh, provide it with the search term so blog dot search and the let's do it like we did last time with the payload and then we'll do blog dot is solved. Another super short script. Uh, payload equals. All right, I'm going to do double quotes on the outside. What I said I was going to do was single quote, right? Semicolon. That's going to break out of that first var. Then I'm going to do alert. Remember, we are already in JavaScript. So I don't need anything else but just execute, you know, saying what JavaScript I want. And then I'm going to end that uh, statement. And then I'm going to do like var a equals single quote. Let's just set it to a just for funsies. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to that single quote that is at the end of the statement that we're injecting is going to fill in here so that this that single quote you know isn't left hanging it this completes the um, the statement and makes the whole JavaScript still valid 
Yeah, so I think that's it. Um, let's... Man, this is another short one. We've gotten either lucky or unlucky with the last few that they've been just just super I guess it's not luck because look we put in a lot of work to build up the structure so that you know our script can be four lines and even that's pushing it because we could move all of this to this line a three line script would solve this one uh, javascript string angle brackets all right, well, that's it. Let's solve it. Checking if solved. Uh-oh, we did not solve it. All right. What did I do wrong? HTTP history. Not that one. This one. That should have worked. Why didn't that work? Um, we did need to do... If you look at this JavaScript, that's all perfectly valid. I can't think of anything that is um let's just refresh this just in case no nope. all right what did we do wrong um let me throw i hate doing this let me send this to repeater and that's so that oh you know what we might have to url encode this to start let's do that so Let's um, let's import so from URL URL lib dot quote no from your import URL lib dot quote and then here we're gonna do payload equals um url lib dot quote am i doing this right no i'm definitely not oh it's url lib dot parse change word parse from let's do this sorry <laughs> from url lib import quote Sorry about that. And then we can delete this and it is just quote. There, there we go. All right, let's try that. There we go, my apologies. Um, and the difference was that uh, we did have to URL encode this uh, to start, so if we send this to repeater also and check out the differences, um, you can see like the percent 3B here, where in this one it is just uh, a semicolon. By URL encoding it first, um, it gets decoded and then. Uh, interpreted by javascript anyway i hope you like this one sorry for uh that mistake but that's it um all we did just a quick recap is we again just built out the payload because we were already in javascript we didn't need to launch a new like script or anything else to get us in javascript all we needed to do was end the statement that we were currently in, create a new statement with our payload, and then write out something to make it so that the what existed, where we injected, that statement would still be valid. And so we did that by single quote to end the previous statement um, or to finish off the um, string input 
the semicolon to finish that previous statement. Here's our alert, and then we add a semicolon again to finish that statement. And then we did var space A equals single quote. I threw in the A just again for funsies, but um, this combined with the single quote um, from where we injected and the semicolon will complete, will make a valid statement. Um, even though this variable will never be used, that, that's not going to, you know, cause issues running. And we did that just so that we didn't run into any syntax errors and have JavaScript stop functioning. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.